This is Rick with Shooter 1721. <laughs> what do we got here? We got the Winchester 357. Look at this beautiful uh, Beechwood stock here. I I'm telling you, I love this gun. I love the feel of it. It makes you feel like that old Model 70. We want to give some shout outs right now before we go into the gun. Shout out to Travis Patton and Air Gun Depot. Way to send a, a gun to Shooter 1721 for review. Thank you for the ammo. We really appreciate it. Thank you for the opportunity to work together. I want to thank Tom from Leapers for this uh, 3 to 12 scope mill dot they sent with the, the pro mounts. These mounts are amazing. They lock down. When they lock down, it's over. We want to thank JSB for the pellets. We also want to thank Birchwood Casey for the targets downrange. We'll be shooting a, at a range of 50 yards today. So we're going to shoot 50 yards. See what she does at 50. I'm going to run through 12 shots because that's about what I think that we're going to see out of this gun. I think we're going to see 12. So I'll chronograph them, see the start to the finish. We're going to see which way it goes, if it has a bell curve or what it's going to do. Talk a little bit about the gun. So the barrel length is a 21 inch barrel. Overall length is about 42 inches. 230 bars, what it fills to with a fill probe. Also, you have a 320 cc tank. And we're going to do something a little bit different. It's going to be a camera on me, but also on the iPad that's connected uh, Bluetooth over to the chronograph. So those two will be talking, but you're going to get to see real numbers as I'm shooting. So we'll go through that as I shoot, and we'll see if we can get our 12 shots down. Uh, Two-stage trigger, I wanted to make sure I mentioned that, but overall, that's enough talking. Let's get to shooting. Okay, well, here we are. Sitting down here, hopefully you got the chronograph lined up. Up first is the... Uh, we're going to use the JSBs here. We're going to put them up first. And we're going to shoot a 12-shot group. Um, we're basically looking at what the bell curve, if it's a bell curve or a straight drop. So let's just see what we got here. We'll shoot We'll shoot the center target and get lined up here. So we'll start off with JSBs. Seven ninety-eight. we started with. I don't think we have anything to say about its accuracy. Okay, there, you see what's going on here? So it is climbing. So there you go. There's right there is six down range and you can see what we got here. So you see what's happening. We're coming up a little bit, but the accuracy at 50 is staying dead, dead, dead nuts on. Very nice for a big bore. I like it. So we'll load up six more and we'll shoot and we'll see where she comes back down to. 835 is really nice. Um, I don't know. I love the feel of the gun. I, I, that's just me though. Everybody likes the different things and a lot of guys with the big bore, you're looking for a lot of power. The mags are really nice. You can see all you're doing is rotate and I'll show more on video than the, the mags just slide in the gun. Look, just probably can't see it with the camera angle, but really nice. I'll show that then. Very, very nice. Let's go back to shooting our group here and see how she does. <clears throat> Eight fifty one. Ah, looking good. Forty eight. Hammer, hammer. Oh, 
we know what that is. There's 12. We're at 841. Let's let's keep going here. We got something going on. So let's let's go a little bit further. I didn't I didn't think I'd see this, but I I want to shoot until we go down. So let's see what happens here. I'm liking this. Hopefully you can see all the chronograph numbers on there. I'll load up a total another mag just for the heck of it. Let's see what happens. Alright, six more. I didn't expect to see this. Let's see if it, it drops now. Because that was shot 12. Let's see what happens. Believe it or not, there's a fly after my one year. I'll have to shoot him soon. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna stop there at 800. Let me come around to your side and take a look at the chronograph. See what we got. Wow. Okay, that was not expected. So you saw where we started. I'm very happy with that, and as you see the, the group down there at 50, that's 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 a lot of fun. The thing that I like most about this gun, guys, is I like the feel. I just like I like the looks, I like the feel, and yeah, we know that we're it's not a super powerhouse, but here we just saw something interesting. So we started at somewhere around eight and then came back to eight, 16 shots. That's I did nothing to this gun. This is out of the box. Pretty impressive. Now that's good accuracy with the JSB. Well, I if we shot the five shot group, I could probably keep it at about a half inch of 50, which I think is pretty good if we can get five in there. I think it'll do it. But that was just to show you how many shots we could get off of a fill. Okay, we're gonna re-air the gun back up and we're gonna leave the chrome, we're gonna leave the same camera angles here, and then we're gonna shoot. Okay, well, here we are. We wanna shoot the nozzler, so we're gonna sit down. We gotta hand load the nozzler 145s. So there's the ballistic tip. We're gonna shoot 50 yards. We just filled the gun, so we might, we might shoot more, but we'll see. I might shoot a, we'll shoot a five shot group, but I gotta single load them, so just bear with me as I single load. Okay. All right. Okay. 566. I'm coming over to make sure we're registering this time because I've been having fun with this. There you go. Hopefully you can see that okay. Sorry guys, gotta sit back down here and see how this does. Second shot. Alright. Ho oh, ho ho ho, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Looking good. All right, that one walked. Okay. You know what that was all about? Well, he that up to speed though. I think that. So let's see what we got here. We just filled the gun too, so. See what we got. Come on. Enough of that. There we go. Well, we have one flyer. Okay. Yeah, so far, <clears throat> this is a a nice PCP I love like I said I like the stock I like the feel and just mid-range shooting at 50 and 75 is really good I didn't really test it out to 100 I don't have time tonight but I'll get her to 100 and we'll see what she does and we'll go from there so all right let's get back on here okay so we got we got five down there, but she looks like to be about a two inch group with those five. I'm seeing something interesting, so I'll take one more. 
I just want to see if our if our FPS is going up here. So we'll see what happens. Well, that's looking good. I shot six shots. So you'll see that on film also. So we got six down there. It looked pretty good. I shot another five shot group. I'll show you that one too. Uh, both are good, but this one, the chronograph and everything worked properly. But I'll show you both groups because I think it's worth uh, talking about both groups. But there you go. There's the Nozzlers and um, you saw the Air Venturi 118s. Uh, the heavy the heavy Nozzlers look like they're just cruising on down. Uh, the, Vent the Air Venturi 118s, um, I had a real awesome group uh, three, four nights ago with them. And... Um, and then today it opened up a little so might have to investigate that a little bit and go back to them and take a look at them again but there you go there's the chronograph there's the shot groups at 50. overall guys it's performing it's performing above my expectations of what i thought because i had saw some other people review it and, and i saw some different things but my 50 yard grouping with the jsbs is awesome so you got yourself, you know, easily, you're easily killing coyotes at 50 and 75. I'm just not sure at 100. We got to shoot 100 and see what happens. So, but that's for another time. Right now, I'm going to break down and show you, I'm going to do some trigger pull and we'll do our uh, outro and maybe see if we can get a trick shot in here before dark. Let's see what happens. Okay. Well, here we are at the trigger pull. So I want to do the trigger pull for you. So we're going to do trigger pull. We cocked it. Let's see what she does. There you go, we're at a 3.1, which isn't bad. Right now that's stock right out of the box, so we're dealing with that. Okay. 2.6. Okay. And three pounds right on the money hopefully you can see that okay so there's your trigger pull which is that's a nice trigger I, and it's adjustable it's a two-stage trigger one other thing I wanted to show you here also okay so here's the mags and they are quite quite simple to load so you see it's a rotating so you go ahead and you push it in now what's good to do is I take my pinky and I make sure it's, the first one goes in nice Nice and easy like that. And then you take the second one. And what that's doing is it's, it's making sure you don't bend your skirt. And I'm taking the next one. You can see as we stick them in there. That's what it looks like. And then it just stays in place. They are really nice mags. They just they rotate very smooth. The pellets are in really nice. Hopefully you can see that okay. I was able to do that all right. But that's how you load the mag. And then your fill probe area is right here on your gun. So you can see got your dust cover here you just turn that and then you just have a simple fill probe on there you can see the, the leaper scope we have there and you can see how nice that gun really is it's really really nice so there's the trigger pull and mag load and uh, let's go to the outro well you know what let's go to the trick shot two playing cards in the X Let's go back 35 yards and see if we can split this X. We got the king and the queen together. It's king of hearts and queen of spades. So we put them together. Let's see if we can split both these cards with one shot with the 357 JSB 81s. <laughs> they got hit pretty good. They got hit pretty good. So let's see what happens. I saw. I saw a nice explosion, not promising anything, but, man, that's pretty accurate. I'll give it that. Let's see what we got. Hey. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, I'm, I'm finding pieces, guys. <laughs> Woo! Okay, let's set this down. There we go. Take a look. Okay, let's help you out here. 
Queen, King. There you go. X shot with the Winchester 357 JSBs. Look at this. Boy, that thing feels awesome. Well, here we are at the end of the video. What a lot of fun this was to shoot. I really enjoyed it. Thank you, Air Gun Depot again, <laughs> Travis. I know, guys, I say that a lot, but I am grateful and blessed to uh, be able to get to shoot these air guns. That means a lot to me. I've enjoyed it for many years now, and people like Travis uh, letting us have this Winchester for a review. We just really appreciate it. Leapers, thank you, Tom, again for the scope. That was really nice of you. But overall performance, guys, what I saw out of this gun was, uh, and you'll see in the video, you'll see a lot of um, the 50-yard groupings were nice. You know, you got a two-inch gun with the slug, so you're looking at a two-inch or a 50. I'll test out further uh, at a later date. I'm, I ran out of daylight today for filming. It takes a lot to film, you know, and uh, so we'll do some other things too as we go on in time here, some other trick shots. We had a lot of fun with the trick shots. This, this is super accurate at 50 yards. I was like, wow, to do the, the X shot, we were under 50 for the X shot, but to shoot the eraser and to shoot the playing card, you're talking right out of the box, making trick shots with it. What a great gun, what a lot of fun, what a great weight, what a great trigger, what a great feel. Overall, I like the gun. You're not, this is, uh, for me, looking at this, you're not looking at your 100-yard, uh, 9mm. Uh, I didn't see anything uh, as far as ballistic-wise that we're looking at 100, but we are looking at a 75 and under 9mm, if you want my personal. Now, that's my personal opinion of what I see and felt. Uh, but the accuracy is a ton of fun at, at 50, 60, 70 yards. It's, it's really accurate. I had a lot of fun with that. And I'm not done yet. We'll do some other things. This is Rick with Shooter1721 with the Winchester 357. Thanks for watching. <laughs> what, a, what a blast. Oh, my goodness.